Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbase TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and my mixing is done for today as you can see from the machines all turned off. But um, since I made my last video talking about hybrid mixing and how I use some machines, the routing and everything, some people asked me if I could describe my input and outputs, my, the way I interface the outboard with the computer and, and everything else. So I have a few spare minutes and I thought about making this video. So let's start with my IOs. I have two SSL Alpha. These are a total of 48 analog channel. Each one is 24 channel. And um, they are uh, connected to the computer. Yeah, I know the case is not impressive, but uh, it's a decently powerful computer. It's an i7-860, uh, I think. I'm gonna change it in a couple of months, but um, yeah, no, I don't have problem with it. Um, I build the computer myself, building computer relaxes me. But um, yeah, aside of that, I have a uh, gigabyte motherboard in it and a Samsung solid state hard drive for the OS and another four or five regular hard drive for uh, Pro Tools project and samples. Inside the computer, I have two RME uh, cards. Uh, I think they are called 9653-52, something like that. Um, they each one has, I think, uh, four pair of ADAT, something like that. Anyway, the cards is what connects the SSL to the computer. So the SSL converters are connected to the computer via the RME cards via ADAT for a total amount of 48 channels. Plus, the, the RME cards give me also two uh, SPDIF outputs, and one of the SPDIF is connected here on the Drummer MC 3.1 for when I need direct digital monitoring. And um, so, yeah, the SSL converters are then connected, are patched here in these four patch bays with D subs cable. D subs on the end of the SSL and they end at the other side with TRS like this. What the fuck was this? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Let's not do that again. Um, so, yeah, this is how. I interface the converters with the computer. Now the patch bays and the outboard. You can see I have four patch bays and they are mirrored. I have SSL outputs here in the first row, first bay. Outboard inputs in the second row. Outboard outputs in the first row of the second bay. And SSL inputs in the second row of the second bay. These two are the same thing. So these are the first 24 channels. These are another 24 channels. So basically, with the patch bay normaled, what happens is the, by default, without having any cables in here, let's say, for example, three or four, which are my distressor, my first two distressors. Basically, with this setup, the SSL out without any cables, the SSL out goes automatically inside the outboard in and the outboard out goes back in the SSL in. So what I have is basically a hardware insert in between the SSL input and outputs for each channel. Why I do this? Because this is the way Pro Tools handles a hardware insert. So basically what I do, if I want my distressor, you know, uh, which are in 3 and 4, my, one, my first and second distressor, if I want to use them in Pro Tools, I don't have to do anything but selecting input and outputs in, in the menu in Pro Tools 3 and 4, and 
basically my distressors, the, the first pair here, is already connected. Input and output, input and output. Now a word about why I have these cables here. My uh, priority, let's put it this way, in studio is versatility. I don't want to be locked in in configuration. I want the freedom to use all my machines on whatever I might need. So while I have my uh, usual setup, I also, with the patch base, want the freedom to route whatever, whatever outboard to whatever channel or combine them. So for example, two bus. My two bus has been for the past, I don't know, year or so, uh, the Neves 542 into the Dion. In order to do this, since I I know I use this 90% of the time, but I want I don't want to be locked in in this configuration. So in order for me to send the signal from the Neves into the Dione and back into uh, the converters, I have to do the routing on the patch bay. And in order for me to avoid two conversions, let's say I go out on a Neve, then I go back in, then I go back out into the Dione and back in. That's not gonna work, you know, double conversion. We don't want that. So I need to open one hardware insert in Pro Tools. In this case, the first one would be the Neve 542s, which are in channel, you can see, 1718. So when I open the insert slot, for the hardware insert in Pro Tools is 1718, I need to go back in channel 1718. What I have to do is to insert the Dion or whatever else I want in this path. So with the patch bay, I go out from channel 1718 and I go in the 1314, which is the Dione, from the output of the Dione, I go back in the SSL, 1718. So this way I open up in Pro Tools only one hardware insert slot, 1718, and what I did, I just simply inserted the Dione in this path. And this gives me freedom, gives me versatility. For example, if, you know, on one mix, I don't want to use the Dione uh, as a two bus compressor. I want to use, I don't know, the Drummer 1978 or the API. Basically, I just, you know, unpatch here and, and insert whatever compressor I want. Allows me to do all kinds of combination, all kinds of routing. But most important, when I don't need to do special routing, I have 36 or 32 channels, that's the limit of Pro Tools for hardware insert, um, which, you know, they are already set up. I don't need to patch anything, any cable. If I take all these cables away, I have 32 inserts ready to go. I just click, you know, the, 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 the channel number in the insert slot in Pro Tools, and I have, you know, the stressor one and two, Expressor 5 and 6 and you know 1973 compressor and 78 API on 9 and 10 and so on So yeah, that's that's pretty easy. I suck at explaining probably and it might sound more complicated than it is But it's really easy. It's really easy. It's very versatile as a setup allows me to do anything on the fly anything I need and um, yeah Oh, also somebody asked me about my uh, reamp setup. I have two reamp setup. So right now it's channel 24. I keep, I do, well, let me say, I the way I'm going to describe this is, again, if I do it this way, I don't have to touch anything. Basically, I'm using all my paddles as an hardware insert if I do it this way. The way I do it is with this cable I come out from channel 24 of my first SSL. With this cable here I go into the reamp, the capo, and with this blue cable 
I go in the paddle. So we come out a line level, we go into the reamp, the reamp transform the signal I impedance, we go into the paddles. Here I have all my paddles, I process the signal in any way I want, and from the last paddle here, I go back into the API 512 because I like the color and because I use it as a DI basically because we are coming out from a pedal you know so we need a DI to go back in line level for uh, going back into the converter and of course the two API are already patched into the patch bay and specifically they come out in 1314 so you see here one of these the second is now unpatched but the other 13 this cable goes back in channel 24 okay so basically like I said this way I can use my pedals as a hardware insert I just select in Pro Tools the input and output 24 as an insert and I have my chain with all my pedals and I can you know turn them on and off and, 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 and play with them in real time using using hardware inserts now the other setup that I have which doesn't include me going back into the API is when I use my radial because this one basically has it has two lines for me so it's very handy because I can create two different paths and use you know combination of pedals it has ascend and return levels it has phase inversion and a blend knob but most importantly with this you don't need a di to go back in or a preamp with a with a high impedance input like the api so this basically takes the the line level signal coming from the ssl turns it into high impedance go in the pedal go back in the radial AXTC and it transforms the signal back to line level again so I can go directly into the SSL from this you don't need DI you don't need preamps you don't need anything it's pretty amazing and uh, but I wasn't using this right now so the the couple passive reamp is hooked up but yeah that's my other setup for reamp and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope I covered everything. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment down below. I'll try to reply to everyone as usual. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. If you liked it, please don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and see you next time.